All right, what's going on, great people? Coach Terrell here. Just finished it up a, con a conditioning session, preparing for upcoming season as high school varsity coach. So I wanted to give you guys some insight in terms of how to actually make your team, <clears throat> whether it's JV or varsity. This isn't clear. We like student athletes. Make sure your grades are up to par, right? We don't want to. We don't want the headache of having someone who's extremely talented, and then once grades come around or market periods come around, they're not gonna be available. So make sure you're studying and your classwork is actually up to par as well. I'm gonna be a little bit honest with you all. If you had been in contact with your coach uh, for, or your coach doesn't know you for varsity, it may be a little bit more difficult, unless you're just, simply put, unless you're just nasty or unless he's heard of you or he or she has heard of you outside of um, the school environment. For JV, a lot of you all coming into the situation may think it's all about skill, the ability to score, especially with how social media is set up. But for, me, for me, as a former JV coach, here's what I'm looking for. First and foremost, I'm looking for someone who is able to communicate effectively. I'm looking for someone who shows leadership on the court. For you coming in as a freshman into an unknown spot, what I would do if I was in your situation or your shoes, I would reach out to the coaching staff well before tryouts started. This way, the coach knows your face. You can begin to build a rapport with the coach and the coaching staff. And you could actually you know, pick the coach's brain about what type of plays they run, what they're looking for in a uh, player, an incoming freshman, and also what they're looking for as it relates to um, players and how it's gonna fit their style of offense. Next, you have to actually size up the competition, right? Who plays your position? Are they good? What are their weaknesses? What are their strengths? And how do they compare to your weaknesses and strengths? Once you do that, you'll be able to assess the competition at, at your position, um, and you'll be able to kind of strategize and figure out how, you, how are you gonna attack. On the day of practice and day of trials, now I coach at a smaller school, so generally speaking, we have a smaller pool of kids who are actually trying out. For you all at larger high schools, you may have 100, 150 kids trying out. So how are you actually gonna get noticed? To get noticed, right, it, it may not be on the court, right? Because coaches are gonna have their eyes on different games. There's, there's a lot of commotions going on. You have to win every drill. So at this point, we're about 30 days out from tryouts. You have to be in a, the best shape of your life, right? Because if you're winning every defensive drill, if you're winning every conditioning drill, trust me when I say this, you're definitely going to stand out. Lastly, uh, most coaches at this level are looking for a great point guard, right? So this is, I'm not talking about a, a scoring po point guard. I'm talking about someone who's gonna be a general because typically for us as coaches, we're looking for somebody who's gonna be the mouthpiece of our offense because we don't wanna have to scream and yell all of the time. So work on your communication um, work on your ability to pass and work on your ability to control the offense. Everyone in your trial is going to be going crazy. Trust me when I say this, they're going to be going crazy. They're going to command the ball. They're going to go coast to coast just because the, the tension is high and they really want to impress the coaches by scoring a lot of baskets. And like I said, that d doesn't always work. Lastly, here's a little trick. And I, I, it, I, it dawned on me later, right? When I tried out for my, High school team, it was either my freshman or sophomore year. Actually, I believe it was my freshman year. I, I played, you know, I think I did well, maybe not well enough to make it, you know, I, being honest with myself. The, the coach goes, hey, kid, did you get a chance to play? <laughs> me not knowing <laughs> that um, she didn't see me play or me not knowing what she was actually saying, she didn't, she didn't have a clue who I was. So um, going back on it, I would actually step back on the court, right? Because if they're gonna give you an opportunity to hop back on the court, by all means, just take it. Because the idea here is to, to actually get noticed, right? So good luck to all of you all trying out. Uh, wish you the very best. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Share this with your friends. Good luck and hope you was all work I hope you all were working on your jump shots and all of your skills during the summer. And once you get into, get into the trials, just let it all, all hang out. No need to be nervous. Go for it. All right? Peace.